Hello, I'm John Geib. I'm a vegetable specialist with the Big Country Master Gardener Association. Welcome back to our series of videos talking about what to be doing in our vegetable gardens for the following month. Well, winter is here. While most people think that winter is the time to be bundled up relaxing by a fire, us West Texas gardeners understand that winter can be almost as busy as summer when it comes to our gardens. We are in the time of intermittent freezes mixed with these beautiful spring days. So what should we be doing in our vegetable gardens during the month of February? Well, unless you've been very diligent and very lucky, all of your plants have died for the season, unfortunately, during the freezes that we had in mid-January. If you still have any plants that are alive, keep an eye out on the weather forecast. Our temperatures can fluctuate easily between 20 degrees and 70 degrees. These temperature swings can really put a big stress on our gardens. Any sister plants that you have will need to be protected during the frosts and freezes for the remainder of the season. This usually means bringing them in during the cold nights and taking them back out in the morning after the temperatures have risen above freezing. If it is just going to be a light frost or freeze and the plants are small, you might be able to get by with just frost cloth on your over your plant or perhaps even just a blanket. Remember, once it comes out in the morning, to go ahead and uncover your plants so they can get the light that they need to survive. Any crops that you still have alive will need to be tended to. This will include watering as usual. Any cool weather plants that are ready to be harvested can be harvested at your leisure. If you need to replace any plants that the weather took out during the cold snaps in mid-January, feel free to add a few transplants back into your beds. You can, you'll need to start these as transplants and not seeds due to the cold weather as seeds will not germinate with, with the temperatures where they've been sitting for the last couple of weeks. You'll need to start these seeds indoors as none of the garden centers currently have any stock available. For those of you that are pepper and tomato lovers, I rec usually recommend starting your seeds indoors in late December or early January as long as you have a setup that can go ahead and keep those plants alive and thriving until early spring. So if you haven't gotten busy with them, time to get those seeds started. Please refer to our video for indoor seed starting from our January library presentation for more information. That video is available on our YouTube channel. Plants that can be started in February are beets, broccoli, cabbage, Carrots, kale, lettuce, parsley, peas, radishes, spinach, Swiss chard, and turnips. Remember that any of these transplants that you do have will need to be hardened off to the cool weathers that we are experiencing. The other three big crops for the month of February are asparagus, onions, and potatoes. Asparagus crowns should be planted in mid to late February. Onion sets can be planted now in February on through early March. Sets are avail already available in all of the major garden centers. It's also that time of year to show your significant other some love. And what better way to show, show that you love them than to plant them some potatoes. Valentine's Day is the time of year to plant potatoes in our area. Continue your project work for the winter. The cool weather of winter makes for an excellent time to get in all of those projects that were put off due to the summer's heat. Some of these projects can include building a compost pile, building a new vegetable bed, or installing an irrigation system to help you with your this year's vegetable garden. Remember, if you're using integrated pest management practices as we recommend, a lot of the garden cleanup that will wait until late February or early March. Leaving the garden messy will allow bugs to overwinter in your garden. While this means the pests will survive the winter, it also means that the predators for those pests will survive and they will be ready and waiting for the pests to arrive so that they can start munching on them and let, take care of all of those pest problems for free. Well, that is all for today. Thank you for watching this video. If you've learned something, please like the video. If you found our video series helpful, 
please subscribe and hit the notification bell to be alerted when new videos are uploaded. We will be putting out a new what to do in your vegetable garden next month video, approximately the last week of every month. Thank you for watching, and as always, keep gardening!